When was your last really rough day? You might be reading this, you might be right in the middle of it. And have you ever had a really rough day and thought, well, at least it can only get better from here? Only to find that the hard day actually turned into a hard week. And for some of us, those hard weeks turned into hard months, and even hard years. And this is the story that the prophet Joel shares with us as we begin Lent. Joel writes as an Israelite, and he lived in a time of relative peace. The temple was back. Uh, they had their home in the city of Jerusalem. There was a joyful sense of anticipation of what God was doing, that their Savior was on the way, life was good. Enter the plague. Okay, This is a plague of locusts, an infestation that was so thick and so savage that Joel compares them to the jaws of a lioness. It was grapevines, it was wheat fields, olive trees. They even ate the pomegranates. And the locusts come through and they devour till they had their fill of crops. And then that insect leaves behind another plague and they finish it all off. And Joel says in verse 12, the vine withers, the tree droops, and joy withers away among the people. Life was good, but what happened? The people tried everything to appeal to God. They, they tried to pray. They tried to call off the hard times. They fast. They pray through the night. They want to offer grain and wine to God, but all their bins are empty. The vineyards are, are devastated. Does that sound familiar? You ever prayed hard to God and just nothing? And then Joel speaks to the people and knows what God is trying to say. He says, even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. So now here we are, we're putting ashes on our forehead, sprinkled this year. And we hear the words of Jesus in Matthew's gospel, calling us back. And Jesus says, beware of practicing your piety, your fake religion before others. Give alms in secret. Pray to your father who is in secret. And pray in this way. In secret. Now, allow me to say it in a way like I would just to my best friend. Okay, it's, it's time to get your heart right. It's time for a change in attitude. It's time for a change in the way that you see God. The way that you pray. The way that you relate to God. Your father, my father. So what about these ashes? Aren't we supposed to pray in secret? Not let others see our prayers or our acts? Okay. It's like Joel said. It's all about our heart. It's always been about your heart. And when we experience a change of heart... A change inside. It's good that there's an outside sign of that change. It's an outside sign of an inside change. And now our lives have to reflect that change. And we got 40 days in front of us to live out that change. Oh my Lord, if we knew full well, we know that the world desperately needs a change of heart. But it starts today. It starts with you and it starts with me. A change of heart, a decision to see the world differently than you have in the past. 40 days to return to God, to see Him again, to experience this goodness that Jesus came to bring. And today, on Ash Wednesday, we wear an outside sign of an inside change. I pray that your Lent is going to be a big change on the inside, and that that inside change is going to bubble over into an outside change that's going to change the world for the better. God loves you guys. I love you too. Have a great Lent. Look forward to seeing you.